And our mission is to work with uh, Sudanese and South Sudanese women in rebuilding their country. The school was founded in 2003 by this woman uh, when she got the idea to start the school and went from throughout the village to tell women that we were going to start a school. Uh, people laughed at her. They scoffed at her. They said this was absolutely ridiculous. And at that time, the ratio of boys to girls was five to one. So people didn't think in terms of girls being educated, but she persevered and actually did start the school uh, initially with 100 girls. In 2005, the girls were meeting uh, on the floors of uh, mud huts and under the tree, so that meant that when it rained, there was no school. They asked us to build a school, and initially um, we, we resisted, and, but it was very clear that it was something that the community wanted to happen, so we agreed to build a school. We hired a Sudanese woman to be our construction manager when she showed up in the village. An old man met her and said, well, I, you know, I hear that you all are thinking that you're going to build a school, and she said, yes, we're going to do our best, and he said, well, if you succeed, we'll celebrate you, but if you fail, we will defame your name throughout all Sudan. So we built a school <laughs> and, uh, um, and that school is still standing today. It's one of the few uh, permanent structures uh, for which students attend because for the most part students are still doing the mud huts and the trees or they're in the open air. So this puts this community in, a, in an enviable position. There are three buildings, uh, eight fully furnished classrooms and offices, etc. There are 12 teachers and uh, now 600 students who are enrolled and again unlimited potential. Once that school was underway, the, the women in the village said, you know, we think that we can do a more effective job of, of educating our daughters or supporting our daughters if we also know how to read. So the women started the Women's Peace School. And I, I will say that the, the person who primarily drove that initiative for us was a, a student from Boston University who volunteered to go over and spend a summer in uh, South Sudan, which is a very hard thing to do. But she really launched that uh, women's literacy project and now it serves over 200 women and um, again that was the blackboard when they started out and now they have uh, they have the school and so the school and the uh, and the girls school share the same facilities <laughs> 